Now, moving on to another big story tonight. The White House this evening is considering its response to that computer hacking attack against Sony Pictures Entertainment. Correspondent Bob Orr reports that the federal investigation is getting close to confirming that North Korea's digital fingerprints are on the hack attack. Officials inside the Obama administration are still wrestling over whether or when to publicly accuse North Korea of orchestrating the massive hack of Sony Pictures Entertainment. But sources say the FBI has definitively traced the attack back to the regime of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Evidence shows hackers directed by North Korea's cyber unit used aggressive data wiping malware to steal Sony's corporate secrets and then erase the company's computer files. Investigators found similarities between the Sony hack and a damaging 2013 cyber assault on South Korean banks and broadcasters. Sources say the digital fingerprints in both of those cases have been traced back to the North. The cyber attack on Sony Pictures is one of the most destructive ever directed against a U.S.-based company, and it apparently was launched as retribution for Sony's film, The Interview. <laughs> now that Sony has shelved the movie, the company stands to lose tens of millions of dollars. At the White House, Press Secretary Josh Earnest, without directly naming North Korea, called the attack a serious national security matter. There has been destructive activity uh, with malicious intent, and the, the administration <laughs> believes uh, that that activity merits an appropriate response from the United States. It's not clear what options the U.S. might have to respond. North Korea is already under heavy sanctions over its nuclear program. And criminal prosecutions seem unlikely, if not impossible. Even if sus suspects are identified, they're well beyond the reach of the U.S. government. Scott? Bob, thanks very much.